What's up? All right, so I'm going to show you guys something that isn't totally related to PowerShell, but I'm going to tie in a little bit of PowerShell to show you what it is. Um, and the thing is that Windows will record the history of USB storage devices that you plug into your machine. Now, let me explain you how, how I'm going to show you where to find that. In PowerShell, you can use get child item to grab the contents of a container that you point it to. Usually it's a folder, um, but also you can use it with the registry, which is pretty fancy. Now, the way you do that is by giving it the, uh, the hive name, followed by a colon, and then the regular uh, key notation that you want to point it to. So I could equally use H key current user and look at the keys in there, but I'm looking in local machine. Um, and then I'm pipelining it to select object and I'm getting the PS child name because I just want the name of the registry key. I don't want the whole key. So this location right here on my machine, it may be different on yours. This is Windows 7 Home Edition. I, I know some people have found it in current control set without the 001 um, but it's this USB store that you want to look for when I run this you'll notice I get a, a list of all these different things now these are all the USB storage devices that I've plugged into my machine uh, and some of them uh, are are duplicates I'm guessing uh, maybe if there's a different revision of the USB type or if it's got the same name um, it'll make a different key but if you look over here I've got a, a USB flash drive um, I've got uh, where was where did it go Android this is my Android phone it made uh, one for my Android phone uh, SD card um, that I plugged in, into my machine in my SD card slot uh, USB jump drives uh, this is my Western Digital my book so it records every time you plug in a storage device Windows makes a record of it in this USB store registry key now let's open it up and take a little closer look so this is this is what get child item does uh, I gave it the USB store and by telling it to give me the names it listed all the names so if I take away this ending right here and we run the code um, it, it doesn't look as pretty because it's grabbing uh, a whole bunch of different things in there. Um, so we'll come back up to the registry and let's look inside uh, one of these keys. Let's look at the Android. Now you'll see you're, you're not really going to find anything uh, nefarious in here. It's pretty much just a, a, a history of what has been plugged in um, and some information, driver information. Um, the friendly name so that's what shows up um, in my computer to identify um, what that is and and that's really all now I, I guess the only thing you could do uh, to make use of this is maybe you could write a script that monitors this uh, this key and once a day that script runs and tells you if it finds anything new now, if you didn't plug a USB device into your laptop and there's a new key in there, well, that would indicate that maybe somebody came and plugged in the USB while you weren't looking. Um, and that's cause for concern, isn't it? So that's, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, and using PowerShell, you can use get child item to um, pull those registry keys. So that's it. Thanks for watching.